Hi, my name is Sebastian and this video is about how to use Hypermedia REST with Java EE on the client side. So Hypermedia REST has gained more and more attention in the past and still the Java implementations are not that quite oftenly used or there are not that much Java implementations yet. And I want to show you um, what Hypermedia REST is about and how to consume it for the client side. So um, there are several Hypermedia content types so far. None of them has evolved into a real standard yet. But I want to show you um, one which is called Siren. That's an um, Hypermedia content type which allows you not only to create links to um, specific resources but also um, to define actions and how to use them. And I have already um, written a library how to create Siren entities and actually JSON objects in the past using Java EE um, libraries only. So um, it's called Siren for Java EE which only uses the um, provided Java E7 API and internally it uses JSONP to create these JSON objects and you have a builder pattern like um, API to create these. However, um, today I um, published a new version of that including also client functionality. So now you can read um, Siren JSON objects into so-called entities and um, into Siren POJOs basically and in order to use that there is also um, a Siren client here which internally wraps a JAXRS client and then is used to programmatically follow links and also to perform actions. So basically it enables you to use this hypermedia features in an easy way because when you have this Siren resources here, you um, can link to specific resources and you can define action um, actions how to use specific functionalities on the client side. And the client therefore has to adapt if there are changes on the server side. And this is the idea of hypermedia that you kind of decouple the client from the server side and make it usable in a more generic way and you won't break the client um, by introducing changes and the client can evolve over time. And this is actually the whole idea of the web. And in order to use that for the Siren here, um, you can use this Siren client, which then can follow links or perform actions, which means that internally, this is um, just an example here to showcase that, um, Internally, you can then retrieve so-called entities and these entities um, have the mappings of the actions and links which then can be followed. So you can perform some actions, um, for example, with uh, JSON data provided and it automatically will search for an action with a name and then apply the logic which is defined in the Siren response. Um, that means it will use um, the resources with the appropriate um, HTTP methods and the resource um, types and so on and so forth. And it will also use the data provided here. So you can just give um, a JSON object with all data um, available to the client. And then now the Siren client, the client library, will automatically gather all the information needed to perform that action. And therefore you can decouple this uh, logic on the client side from what the server needs by provided uh, by the actions provided. Yes, and this is um, how you use that Siren example. So in general, this is, I think, one of the first um, hypermedia enabled libraries on Java. It hasn't been that popular yet. And I hope we can move the whole hypermedia rest idea forward because this is in my eyes how APIs should be designed or actually it has a lot of benefits if you design APIs which live for a long time like that so they can evolve over time and you won't break the clients by introducing changes and as a showcase here for the Siren example you can use this and try it out and 
um, feel free to um, collaborate and give feedback on this, how that could be improved or um, what other options are there or um, yeah, basically which functionality is, is needed on that side. Um, so feel free to um, check that GitHub project, Asylum for Java EE. It's, it can be used via Maven, it's um, published via Maven Central. And here is another GitHub project it's called JuxRS Hypermedia, which is just an example with books and like an Amazon like API, how to use this. And it includes um, examples to both this uh, server side, how to create these sign responses from JuxRS resources, and also how to consume them on the client side and how to follow these links and actions in a more easy way by that provider um, library. So it internally also uses an example which makes use of that uh, Siren for Java EE in the new version that has been um, published today. So feel free to um, check it out and provide feedback if you want. And yeah, let me know your thoughts about that hypermedia idea and that um, Siren content type specifically. If you have other um, content types that would be needed, for example, JSON LD and so on and so forth. Or if you have um, already Java libraries already created here and that use other ideas which could be incorporated, please let me know and provide feedback. So thanks for watching and bye.